Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Strip Search. Now I know what you're thinking, why does this idiot have a dick cap on his head? Well, the truth is, is that I just had some work done on my head and it doesn't look very pretty. But, you know what does look pretty? This! That's right, folks. I got the Gears of War Limited Edition. Isn't it pretty? Now, I was unsure of whether I wanted to strip the Limited Edition or the Epic Edition, which is the one that includes the statue. I've decided that to be a bit more cost efficient, I would do the Limited Edition. Nothing against the Epic Edition, but, well, let's just say I got enough statues as it is. So, let's begin, shall we? Remember, folks, all these episodes are 100% live, meaning that the, is that the moment I first take the wrapping off, well is the first, the moment I, after I initially take the wrapping off, I will uh, show it to you. I mean, come on, how many uh, can uh, say that they, that they show, that they open up a, a brand new special, uh, come on, come on. Well, as is often the case, there's uh, tape. There we go. Okay. There we go. Finally. Sorry about that. So as you can see, this is the uh, the um, cog metal. Uh, one by Dr. Adam Phoenix, the uh, father of main character Marcus Phoenix. And it, apparently, it find to read this correctly, it says, For services to humanity. What the, those services are, I don't want to think about. But the box itself is actually kind of strange. It's made of this, like, Soft, I, I don't know, it's like it's fabric, but, or is it velvet or something? So apparently it opens up like this, and I guess this is where the metal comes out. Um, so as you can see, this is the, I think this is the game itself. Yes, it is. Gears of War, and uh, included in it is, uh, let's see, I guess these are just uh, abridged instructions about how uh, to play the game. Yes, yes they are, see? Um, let's see, what else is in here? Uh, let's see, some Gears of War stickers, and uh, Let's see, and uh, Gears of War, uh, oh, and a card to uh, download uh, Marcus Phoenix multiplayer character. Um, 
and I'm going to cover up the number so that I'm the only one who can use it. So that's the, that's the actual game. And let's see. And uh, let's see what else do we have in here. Ooh. As you can see, it's a flag. And I hope I didn't ruin the fabric there. And wait, I think I might be holding this upside down. Um, yeah, that looks a bit, that looks more right. So, flag. I, I don't know what you can do with it. I guess it's, I guess you could probably hang it somewhere, but <laughs> I live in an apartment, so. Uh, let's see. Ooh, these are, um, uh, apparently they're mementos of, uh, at, Adam. I guess that's Adam Phoenix. Uh, we have a picture here of, I guess one of those guys is Adam Phoenix, and on the back it says, Adam, Sarah is in your debt. The Hammer of Dawn has guaranteed peace for generations to come. Never was the Octus more deserved, my friend. Yours, I, Tom. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Apparently this is an official certificate awarding Professor Adam Phoenix the uh, Octus Medal. That's cool. Um, <coughs> what else do we have here? Hmm, I guess this is the uh, Hammer of Dawn schematics. Sorry if I'm spoiling things here, people, but what can I say? Ooh, another picture. And uh, on the back it says, Elaine Darling, make the most of your brand new major civilian again in the mouth? In the months. Tell Marcus that daddy's coming home soon. All my love, Adam. So I guess this was a picture to his, uh, to um, Adam's. Apparently we have a, uh, we have a letter here <coughs> that was uh, sent from, uh, from a, his father to Marcus. I assume it's Adam since uh, most of the stuff in here are mementos. Let's see, it says, Marcus, I realize words won't help at a time like this, but I'm so very, very sorry about Carlos. He was a fine gear and a good friend to you. Poor Dom. I'll write to him, but please let him know he's in my thoughts. I won't insult you with pleasant, with, I'm sorry, platitudes. We never truly get over the loss of those dear to us. But in time, I hope you can draw comfort from the fact that Carlos didn't die in vain. The data we've gained from the raid on Alf, on Aspa Point, I, I guess, it's hard to read cursive, Aspa Point will enable me to make the Hammer of Dawn fully operational. Be proud of that. Let me be frank. I worry and I expect every phone call to be bad news, but I'm absolutely certain that your mother would have been as proud of you as I am now. I promise I won't call you a hero because I know how you hate that word. So let's just agree that Carlos was heroic and that you all deserve the Embry star that you've been awarded. Life will go on, Marcus, 
you're 20 years old, you have 18 months left to serve, and then you can complete your education. And the war will be over one day very soon, I promise you. Call me when you can. I know I'm not good at this, but I'm still your father, and I need to know how you are. Stay safe, Marcus. Yours ever, Dad. Whew. Oh, I just realized that the letters uh, on a stationary head with, uh, I guess it's Adam's name. Uh, let's see, Last Will and Testament of Adam Jonathan Phoenix. I, Adam Jonathan Phoenix of Haldane Hall, East Barricade Jacinto, sorry if I mess up the names here, being of sound mind and body, hereby revoke all previous wills and codiciles and appoint the partners of Blake Wilson Corda LLP to be the executors and trustees of my will. I bequeath the residue of my estate to my son, Marcus Michael Phoenix, to be held in trust until he reaches 18 years of age. I appoint Eduardo and Ava Santiago as his guardians and direct that the ex executors shall set up a separate fund for their use as laid down in document 5A, uh, which I isn't included in here. Uh, in the event that Marcus Michael Phoenix does not survive me by one month, I bequeath the sum of $1 million to Eduardo Santiago, and I bequeath the residue of my estate to the Royal Tyrant Infantry Benevolent Fund for the care and benefit of former Gears and their dependents. So... Oof! That, that was, I'm sorry, this is like the longest uh, strip search I've ever done. So, uh, let's see. One more thing to go through. Uh, hold on a second. And I guess this flips open to reveal the actual metal. And it really is metal. It's not like some great plastic thingamajiggy. I mean, believe me, this is... Whew. So it looks like uh, the box is held in, tacked by, um, by uh, magnets, which makes me worried about the game. So I'll just pack this out. Well, and that's about it. So this will uh, definitely go on the shelf next to uh, next to my uh, Fable Free box set, which uh, I tried to do a strip search on that, like when it first came out, but you know it's uh, but um. Yeah, well, let's just say that my video camera didn't work at the time, so um, I'll just pack this up, and there you go. So, I'm probably going to be using um, it, uh, the game mostly for its multiplayer, because, well, I've never done multiplayer before, so this will be a good chance to start. Uh, if you guys want to friend have the game and you want to... Uh, friend me, invite me into like horde mode or beast mode or whatever. Uh, it's Fanto5692. Uh, and uh, as always, leave comments down below and tell me what you think. So until then, I'll see you on the next strip search.